Hi, I'm Kiana and I'm going to be teaching my friend about bias in sampling. So to begin, I have to explain what the statistical process is to my student. So, in the statistical process, statisticians have to gather data, either in an observational study or through an experimental design. And the first step to doing that is having to collect or identify the sample, which is a group of subjects from the population of interest. In order to simulate selecting a sample from a population, I have these markers that I'm going to let my student choose some randomly as the sample. Student, select some um, three from this population of markers to be your sample. Okay, and out of the markers, he has chosen these three as his sample randomly. And I say randomly because randomness is actually very important when it comes to selecting a sample. Now let's see what bias in selecting the sample looks like. Could you pick three from these markers? And my student has selected these three from the population. So there are many types of sampling biases and I'm going to tell you about two that are pretty common. The first one would be self-selection where the, the person who chooses the sample has control over who they're selecting. And the second one would be exclusion which is where they completely ignore a type of group from, their, from the population and they use the ones that they want for their sample. To help you understand bias and sampling, I prepared a visual aid with target-shaped graphs where I'm going to plot dots to show you where the data would more closely be. This graph here on this side is going to be without bias. And since randomness is important in sampling, the dots would look random. They would be all over the graph, That's all biased, yeah. over the graph. Random, oh, yeah, random. Random. And with bias, on this side with bias it would be strongly directed on one side of the graph notice how they're strongly concentrated in the top right corner versus the graph with randomness without bias they're spread all over do you get that I'm going to show you another example of bias with bar graphs. So for this one is an example with bias and the question would be, do you think The Walking Dead is a good show? The person collecting the data might have used self-selection or exclusion to get the data that he wanted. So he'd maybe ask his friends that obviously enjoy the show to get a bar graph that might look something like this. On the other hand, there might be someone who got a better sample and asked how satisfied someone was with the new product. And let's say the product was actually really bad and the people, the sample was very unbiased. So the graph would look more realistic and more accurately depict what the sample believed or felt about the product. So as you can see from my graphical representations of samples with and without bias, randomness is very important. And in order to get a good sample for your 
your observational study or your experimental, experimental design, you need to try to avoid bias at all times when it comes to sampling. Okay. What did you learn in this lesson? So, I learned about two common things about bias, which are self-selection and exclusion. Um, I learned that these are two things that can ruin your data. Uh, bias and sampling should be avoid because bias is bad. 